Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to convert our TP-Link Archer C5 C6 router into access point mode. We will explore options such as DSCP and configuring the wireless. Our goal is to build a flat LAN network enabling access to files, folder and printer from the center location. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, let me bring my browser here. So this is my browser. Okay, go away. And now let's log into the router. So my router IP default IP is 192.168.0.1. And we have to log in with the password. Okay, and you can see I have logged into the router. Now it's time to check what is the current mode we are in. So how do we check that? We have to go to the advanced and we have to go to the operation. And the operation we have to check the so let me bring my pen here so that it will be easy for you me to explain this one okay so you can see here this is my i'm in uh, current mode and this is the router mode router mode you have a internet from internet you have a router and from router you have a clients connected to it but in access point mode you can see here you have a internet from internet you have a main router from main router you have a access point connected to it from access point you have a uh, clients connected to it um, you can connect a multiple access point from here yeah this is the beauty of this uh, access point mode imagine that you have a, a small office you have multiple floors in your house so you can uh, you can keep this on the floor one you can keep the another out of access point in, on uh, floor two or if you have an office uh, let's say you put in the one corner of your uh, office and the second one is the another corner of your office so that it will cover all of your office when the, if you get a good Wi-Fi coverage. So now in this one, I just said that the goal is to make a flat network. So let's go to, let's delete this one and click on the access point and click on the save. And it says that you're going to reboot the router. Okay, go ahead and reboot it. So since it's rebooting the router, let me tell you one thing here. So as in as of now you can see here my IP address is 0.1, right? And the moment we convert into the uh, access point mode or extended mode, the IP address will be changed to 192.168.0.254. Yes, you heard right. Don't try to log into this 0.1. It's not going to work. You have to the moment you change it. To the access point or extended mode you have to log into the 192.168.0.254 i'll show it to you uh, let me bring my access uh, command prompt here earlier you can see this default gateway was uh, 192.168.0.1 which was my uh, tp link archer router now when i let me reconnect to the router okay i'm connecting back to the router it's connected now and now let me do the ip config now you can see the difference the default gateway has become 0 0.254. The default gateway in this case is my TP-Link Archer C5 router. So now here we have to go to and add this IP address 254. Enter and you can see here the web page has come. Let's log into the router. So I've logged in again. So now how do we verify whether this uh, whether we have changed to our access point or mode or not from the router. So we have to go to the operation mode and now you can see here we have changed the mode to current mode as a access point mode okay so that's done so now um, you can see you notice one thing here now we have since we moved to the access point the options are very less here options are less means there are a useful but there are certain option which you require in the routing mode and this is the normal access point mode so this is all access point related information are there we are going to cover two sections here one is a network another one is wireless it's two section wire network and wireless here so let's go to that so let's go back to the network here and click on the network LAN setting and then network LAN setting you can see here um, you have a, a smart DSCP and then you have a static and then DSCP let's go back to the DSCP it's DSCP is enabled and it says as it will release the IP from 0 0.100 to 0 0.199 and as of now, my desktop is connected to it and it's getting the IP address of 0 0.100. Let's see that. This can see the 0 0.100. So what we have to do is, so imagine the situation. So I said that uh, we have to create a flat network. So what is the flat network? So you have a main router here. This is main router connected somewhere to the internet, right? And then from here, you have a access point one connected it to here. 
this is let's say this is a uh, one and you may have to connect uh, another one which is the two and you can connect the third and so on so on so forth you can connect multiple uh, routers i mean maximum can connect you can four uh, if you're connecting directly to the router so flat network means what so let's say example that you have uh, a one server here right and on server you have some data over here this is what you generally office uh, typically we access to our data in office and then from any client which is connected to this router or any client disconnected to this router or any client connected to this router this all should access this data so how they do that they have come to the access point from access point they go to the router and from router they access the data the similar way from the access point you will go to uh, from the client this is your client feed from this will go to the access point from access point you go to the router from router it will go go to the data so so on so forth so it's the same similar way on the first access point also but but when you have a dscp enable on all the one all dscp means getting sending their own ip on this one this one this one what will happen you have to create a routing here yeah you have to create a routing here and you don't i'm sure that you don't want to take the burden of creating a routing for every and each network over here so what is the solution the solution is to have your uh, dscp enable on your dscp server enable centrally on your main router this is your main router and this will serve your this is your main router so this will serve your dscp this dscp means ip related thing so the, he knows so access let's say this is the ap this is this is the one and access point one this is the access point two and this is the access point three so let me connect it here so he is not he know that this client let's say client uh, this is this is one client this is second client and this is third client right so when you have a flat network like this these router know where is pc1 pc2 and pc3 right so if pc1 want to communicate to pc2 he knows that he will go through this access point go to the router and router will tell him okay you go to here like this so he will work as a traffic police he knows where the traffic to go traffic to go now let's con configure this flat network so we have to go to lan setting and we have to so so okay so so imagine a situation that uh, when you have a router on your router one router uh, sorry access point one access point two and access point three later on if you have to manage this wi-fi how do you log in let's say this is the wi-fi how do you manage it to managing it you need the management ip management ip in all of this access point right so this is what we are going to set it up so when you set it up this is a central to get the ip from your main router then you won't be able to log in with this 0.254 ip yes you heard right time to enable this services so we have to go to the lan setting in the lan setting we have to go to a static ip in the static ip we have to change the range of our main router right so main router main as i said the main router ip address is 29 dot i'll just 29 dot 171 and let it be default gateway as it is and the gateway we have to remove the gateway and this one we have to change this to 29 dot 1 29 dot 1 is our main router right so this ip address will land for ip this is this would be the management ip address and on your router like your access on your access point one two and three or four maybe another one four your let's say this on the router uh, this is access point one this ip address is 171 then the access point two is would it would be 172 and the router uh, access point three it would be 173 and so on right this is on done and 192.168.20.1 okay fine and let's and we have to assign the secondary dns also so this is the secondary dns and click on the save so once you save the configuration this is going to reboot the router you can see now it's completed and uh, once it's complete it will automatically redirect to your website 190 171 whatever ip address you, it, you you give it in your case this ip address would be different so let's try to refresh the page and voila you can see here this has come so now let's log in to router again admin and check check it again so network lan setting you can see here this is my so this is 
my management IP and my client should get the IP address from the same range. Same range means from the router. So what you have to do is first we have to go to the DSCP and disable this one. Yes, for in this access point, you have to disable this and save the configuration. Once you save the configuration and uh, you go back to your router and then you do this IP config. You can see here let's get more detail of this IP config now you can see here I'm receiving the IP address is 29.211 and this is my default gateway my default gateway is 29.1 means in my main router right and this is the DNS also everything is fine so that's in about uh, that's in about this uh, flat network configuration file flat network nothing you, have, you don't have to do anything all you have to do is manage the IP address right and this is how you manage the IP you get the IP address from your main router or main server whatever you have now you can see from here from from this access point I can able to ping my 192.168.29.29.1 uh, so this is my main route unable to ping so I assume that if you have a server which IP address is 100 29.100 maybe it's a data server or print server or whatever maybe printer or something right I can be able to ping that I mean there's no device as such as is 29.100 so that's what is it, it's not uh, showing in the ping here but this is the example I said right perfect so now this is this chapter is completed now let's go to the wireless so when we go to the wireless setting, you can see here uh, on the wireless, you have a two option, two radios you can see here. There is one is 2.4 and the second one is 5, 5 gigahertz uh, wireless here. So one thing you notice here, the blue color here. Can you notice here the blue color? Blue color means this is the selected one. So as of now, I have selected to the 5 gigahertz, uh, sorry, 2.4 gigahertz. Then 2.4 gigahertz, you go there and give your name, uh, whatever name you want, like, let's say like, uh, my Wi-Fi 01 and uh, you can change the password from here so but before that you have to select the security so I would suggest uh, don't to touch anything let's keep it default because uh, this is the good one uh, WP and WPS 2 2 and then you have to select the EAES so sometime what happen is your uh, if you have an older uh, laptop or older Wi-Fi card 2.4 gigahertz card sometime the AES encryption won't work so what you have to do is and then you have to click on the auto and then you have to click on the TKIP you have to click on the TKIP and then you appear then it will connect. I've seen that some of this uh, troubleshootings but for me as of now I'll just keep it as it is and for 5 gigahertz 5 gigahertz also you can go ahead and click on the 5 gigahertz and then change from name from here 5 gigahertz like some can say 5 right and just save the configuration of course change the password and save the configuration so this is how you configure your wireless as well so i think we have covered our goal for this video today and if you have any feedback questions query related to this video please do let me know know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video